My next upload today is with regard to the perception of circumstances regarding those um, issues that have been caused for my child and I in the midst of treason in Trulli County Kerry. Um, the offences, as I've mentioned, have been quite inhumane and there have been um, protection laws, etc. that have been disrespected. So the perception of this matter is of basic principles and basically the foundation of those principles is upon faith, religion and spirituality in this context of human rights abuses. So basically there's been irreparable damages caused, um, treason has been conducted and this is just the tip of the iceberg, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's been the offences to an innocent life and there have been other casualties. Now the mentality of these um, individuals that have been imposing upon me and my spiritual purpose, my professional purpose, my farm holdings, my beautiful child, and that have been of slander, blasphemy, bad religious uh, practices with many casualties in this community since 2017, 2016, um, have a mentality of, um, we'll pray through it, we'll continue our offences, we'll keep going on in our endeavour and causing problems, we won't bother making amends, we won't bother repairing the damages we've caused, we'll just pray, we'll pray and we'll get through it that way. Um, unfortunately, they fail to realise that um, with treason and with the damages they've caused, um, their practices are a little bit jeopardised. Um, faith has been abused and damaged in Tralee County Kerry and not just one faith, several faiths. And um, as a spiritual sentient being, um, I have to highlight it for the worldwide interest that these matters aren't so easily prayed through, um, especially when it's a matter of individuals carrying light fragments from my child and I that they had no right to ever um, lay hands upon. So as I've mentioned, they've used substance abuse to attain from spiritual light body and um, they have a superficial um, practice of constant offense, constant defamation, and we'll just pray through it that we'll get out of it, no bother, without any more casualties. So I don't know if you'd consider that naive.